Yeah, it's a ma massive club to sign for, so it's something that you dream of when you're a kid, so I can't wait to get started. Yeah, I was, I was over the moon, couldn't believe it at first with the size of the club and just, it was just a long wait to get, get, it, to get it done and get down here. There's a massive competition down here and it's only, it'll only improve me, it'll push me to boundaries and hopefully I can prove my worth. Yeah, just watching them on the TV mainly. Never been down to London first time. Then they've always played nice football. They've got a reputation of playing nice football. I think that suits me, and hopefully, I can bring bring what I do. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind year, to be fair, with uh, everything that went on down at Bolton and getting in the team and getting a consistent run in the team, and then obviously the relegation, which was bad. But then the call up to England, which lifted my spirits again, and then we won that tournament, which was great. Met Callum Chambers, so really got on with him. So it's nice to have a, f a bit of a familiar face around there. But yeah, it's been a crazy 12 months. Yeah, it was a tough, tough season, and I was just concentrating on my game, doing what, doing what I do, and trying to just put everything in, 100% effort in every every game, and hopefully get the results. But we unfortunately didn't. Fulton and always have a place in my heart. I'm always watching the results, and I've still got loads of friends and coaches that I've still talked to down there. So I'll always, always keep in touch and wish them all the best in the future. Bringing the ball out and playing it on the ground to feet, I think it's what I do best. But I know when to clear it if there's any danger, I'm not one to take risks. <laughs> uh, growing up, I like, I like to think I'd won a game on Real Ferdinand the way he played with, when he was at a partnership with Vidic at United. But uh, watching Arsenal growing up, they had the likes of Tony Adams and Sol Campbell, Martin Keogh, and they're top, center, top draw centre-halves that you admire, you admire and want to be like. Just how much of a leader he was on the, on the pitch, Tony Adams especially, and uh, Sol Campbell. He was just a brick wall, couldn't get past him. Hector Bellerin last season, he played virtually the full season. And the pace up and down the right, it's, it's a competition for me really, but it's, uh, it's, it's good competition, it's healthy competition, it'll bring out the best in me hopefully, and I hope to try and get in there. It gives the young players a massive boost, they know that if they work hard and stick to what they know, they'll get the chance and it's all it's what we work for. Uh, they were just happy with me being in the team at Bolton, that was what we'd tried, been there for 12 years, that's what it was about, getting into the team at Bolton. And uh, for it to go up and out to a top four to club in Arsenal, it's unbelievable. To see more, subscribe. <laughs>